Warning! This video contains reptiles of the no-legged variety. If you are afraid of such creatures- Too late! Hey, this is Sevi and- God damn it! Hey, this is Sevi. Welcome to my secret channel. Today, I'm going to introduce you to my balls. I have three of them. So I get a lot of repetitive questions about these snakes, so I figured I'd make a video. So this here is a ball python. This one here is Sir Hissington. Sir Herschel Hissington, named after Professor... 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 Professor Layton. He is my biggest snake and possibly the biggest reason I'm still single. I swear when I say I have pet snakes, some people react like I'm playing miniature golf with Satan or something. They're called ball pythons because their primary mode of defense is to curl up into a ball when they feel threatened. Ball pythons are extremely docile. They tend to curl up into a ball instead of striking, so they generally don't bite either. Ball pythons are very low maintenance pets. You pretty much only have to feed them once a week or once every other week. And another perk to owning them is that they tend to prevent unwanted visits to your house. Once in a while I'll get some of those people who are like, <gasps> you have snakes in your house? Oh my god, I can't come over to your house. Great, I didn't friggin' invite you anyway. So a while ago I made a video with one of my other snakes, that would be Osias, which is an acronym for, oh crap, it's a snake. And I'm not taking her right now because she's a bitch. So, oh, you're moving. Okay, where are you going? Uh can't be camera shy today. There, there we go. So, other questions people ask me. What do they eat? They eat mice, they eat rats and rabbits and small children. Of course you know I'm kidding. About the rabbits. Three of them. Okay, you pretty much only move once a week. Why is this the only time in the week that you just decide to be moving all around everywhere? Come on, you... Uh, anyway. Anyway, another question I'm asked quite often is where do they live? They each have their own terrariums, they are securely fastened, no they don't roam free in the house, I swear people ask me that. How big do they get is another question I get asked frequently. They get up to about four or so feet. The females get a little bigger than the males because they are the egg layers. What if they bite you? Well if they bite me, they bite me. What do you expect me to do, cry? People always ask me. Are they poisonous? Well, clearly they are not poisonous because I am holding one and it's not killing me. Neither are they venomous. There is a difference. Basically speaking, poisonous means that if you touch it or you eat it, it will kill you. And venomous means that if it bites you, it will kill you. Pythons are by nature non-venomous because they are constrictors and if you are a constrictor, you already have one method of killing your prey, so having two would pretty much be god modding. So people ask me, aren't those the snakes on the news that kill the pets and the blah blah blah? And no, they're not. They're not. They're absolute. They're pr they're 98% of them are pretty harmless. You might have one or two that are just assholes. I used to have an asshole who just bite me for no reason. So a lot of people recoil at the word python because they automatically assume that pythons are all the same, 50 feet in length and monstrous and eating people's pets and terrorizing the city and blah blah blah. These don't grow that big. They only grow up to about five feet or even less if they're male. Females tend to grow a little bigger. Ball pythons have absolutely no record of killing anyone. They have no record of seriously injuring anyone. These are the smallest pythons in the python family. Getting killed or eaten by a ball python would probably need to be considered a Darwin Award. And there are actually many different types of pythons. Ball pythons, there are carpet pythons, there are Burmese pythons, there are the pythons. Another question I get often, do they bite? Do dogs bite? Do cats bite? Do babies bite? Do hamsters bite? Yes, they can. People keep them anyway. Ball pythons can bite, but they generally don't because their primary defense mechanism is to curl up into a ball, so they tend to be reluctant to bite. This guy here is three years old and he's yet to bite or strike at me. I have been bitten, it really isn't a big deal, it, it's barely even painful at all. Actually, a cat scratch is far more painful than a ball python bite. Whereas this color is a lesser, and as you can probably tell, he has a bit of a caramel, but caramel color 
to him, as opposed to the natural colors that exist in nature that was redundant. You are getting to be a handful in putting you back. Okay, now I'm back with my smallest. So this one here is my smallest. Her name is Phoenix White. Objection! I look forward to seeing how many of you get the reference in the comment section. She is an ivory ball python, the same species as the other one. She is a different morph, which is to say she is a, just a different color. These snakes are so popular that people have bred them into hundreds of different colors. If I'm not mistaken, I think there are about 4,000 or I read that somewhere so far and people are always making new ones. Maybe I should bring her a little closer. Focus! 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 So there she is. But I found a little tiny hat. There we go. I have a grandmother who, she's an ultra Christian woman. She thinks that pretty much all snakes are the devil. Isn't that the cutest little Satan you've ever seen? So in conclusion, they are ball pythons. They don't grow very big. They are non-venomous. They eat mice when they're young. They eat rats when they're older. Some people ask me, why do you have snakes? Well, because they are pretty much the most practical pet anyone can have when they are a snake charmer. Did I mention that I dance with them? That that's that's why? Which is pretty much a fancy way of saying that I just dress up in a glitzy costume and stand there with a snake. They are the perfect pet for someone who travels on a moment's notice and they require very little maintenance. They're very easy to take care of. They pretty much sit there. They don't really do much they don't make any noise they don't really bite and best of all they make me money and in my personal opinion they are the cutest species of snake there is probably other than hog noses those are pretty cute too another fascinating thing about these snakes is that they can go up to a year without eating a year without food I can't even go an hour without food if you learned something today please feel free to give this video a thumbs up and if you think she's cute give this video a thumbs up and if you pretty much are watching this video just give it a thumbs up because why the fuck not and as the title suggests, I'm going to go play with my balls.